Well, it sounds like we're getting ready to go for a spin this morning. Sounds like I have a hearty breakfast, eggs and coffee, cheese. It sounds like the guru's going to go. Low Tide Tim's going to go. Me and the Mumbles Man, we'll all probably ride together. Labor Day at the Land of Nada. We'll see how it goes. Well, Edward Scissorhands, a.k.a. Chris, went crazy, or has been crazy, the last two days. You can't see what's behind that grape myrtle there, but she's thinning things out. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta get one of them big uh, recycler things from the city. They send one out, and you can fill it up full of yard stuff. But can't do it till tomorrow, either Wednesday. Then we got to pull it all out of the yard and load it. Flock of uh, butterflies over there, that bush over there. What do you think, A little Indian? What are you doing? You wagging your tail, Big Old Jack? Big old Jack's got a big old bump on his leg. He's had it there, look at it. He's had it there for a long time, but it's always been little. Now it's gigantic. He's got a bunch of those. Don't you, Big old Jack? Some knives, you know. So I got these yesterday. Oh, it's a carbon steel cleaver. It's like all cleavers. Oh yeah. This one says cordon blue. Well, this one says Dexter. And this one says Wesley Forge. That one's not too too super duper like these other two. All right. I got a guy's going to either bring me three, uh, two big axes or I got to pick them up this afternoon. I'm waiting to hear from him now. So I have something to knock around on this afternoon besides bushes. All right. We'll see how that all goes. Well, we couldn't find the guru. The guru was missing in action. So it's just me, Low Tide Tim, and the Mumbles Man. Going to the land of Nada, Labor Day. Lord. We're at the land of Nada. We saw the guru. He was trying to find a parking spot. Been really rough down here the last three or four days. The water's not bad today. Lost the depositors. Low tide about three hours. We're going north first. 1215. That'll be a bottle cap. Let's see if we ever get it out. Got it that time. Yep, platinum bottle cap too, the best kind. That's right. Man's on a ticket too. Two pennies so far. I got a platinum bottle cap. Platinum? Platinum bottle cap. Platinum, that's good. 1223. Don't tell me what this is. Now it's a 1214 solid with three scoops off of it. Oh, perfect. That's what I was looking for. Another bottle cap. This is a fancy one here. 
Brewing Company. Twelve nineteen, probably another bottle cap. Whatever it is, it's plenty damn deep. Bottle cap, that's right. Nice bottle cap, too. Ah. Been Black. There a while. Yep. 19. I'm thinking bottle cap again. And that says 8, 823. That's why I think it's a bottle cap. Yeah, I'm betting a hundred dollars an hour a bottle cap. It might even be worse than a bottle cap. No, oh, there it is. Can you see it? Heineken's. Pull tab, pull tab, that's the first pull tab of the day. What do we say? I see roundness. And it's the right color roundness too. It's got hearts on it. Yeah, roundness. That's what Steve says, roundness. I like it. Stand by a minute, let's wash it off. Well, here's the two axes. One's a splitter, one's a regular axe. Kind of dirty, need a little cleanup. But they're not too bad, it's got one chip right there. Other than that, it's not too bad. I'm gonna do the rest of the spin on this thing because my camera, my little GoPro camera, apparently I didn't clear the memory card out and you can see I only got in about 30 or 40 minutes worth of spin with it and then it died. But I'll put Denny's, you know, as we normally do. Denny found a silver ring. I found uh, what looks like a gold ring, a bling, I think. Uh, FedEx Jimmy was there. He found a nice knockout, three pill knockout diamond ring with carrot stone, but it turned out to be a CZ and 925 and a stainless steel ring. Thomas was there. Thomas had the best of it when we saw him. He had two bling rings, but a nice set of gold grills. We saw Glenn. We saw uh, Ron, our buddy uh, Rick from PA is in town. I remember Ricky comes every fall. You know who he is. 
but there's no pictures because we had no camera. And our two buddies from Maryland, they got in town today, uh, Bill and uh, Alvin, if you remember them from last year. Who else did we see today? We saw the guy from September Man, I call him. He only comes down in September. He was there. And I think that's all the looters we saw. Two ladies were spinning up in the damp, up in the towel line. All right, that's it. I'll get back to you in a minute. That's about half the bottle caps. I threw most of them away. That's about half of the pennies. I stopped digging them. Uh, eight dimes, some nickels, three quarters, some blingers. Then he got a Gerber pocket knife, and this is a bullet pocket knife. I can't get the blade out of it. It's, so, it's in there solid. But it's a pocket knife casing made into a little pocket knife. I don't know what kind. And then there's this baby. I can't find any marks in it. It'll just have to be golden color. All right, I'll give you Denny's in a minute. I'm not sure we're going to get a thing from Low Tide 10, but it's all about the same. All right, there's Denny's nut. There's his, there's his Gerber knife and his 925 ring. And, and four quarters. Uh, looks like we tied on dimes. I got him on nickels. He's got me on pull tabs. I got him on bottle caps. I guess I would have beat him on pennies if I'd have dug him off. Let's see, he's got another one here, I think, of the rig. Oh, there it is. A little 925. Got some stones along the edge. And it has his Gerber knife. Okay. <laughs>